Hey guys, it's Green DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episode 6 of John on the Princess of Snow and Blood. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, honey. <sighs> and I ain't even going to tell us like if she's going to wake up or if she's dead, dead. underrated show between this underrated show and last night's underrated show that I binge oh my god I swear to god we don't even know if you're dead you're dead we saw <laughs> oh the snow continues to fall <laughs> <sighs> they would show this scene again. So basically, we're faking her death. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. But the thing is, why do we need her to fake her death? Or just to be dead for three hours? There's got to be something else other than this. Of course. Well, damn, she's a good actress. Mm -hmm. And see, he'll be brutal about it, though. Oh. 
Okay, thank God he fell for it. So then maybe also um, Elena faked her death. And then maybe with Suki as well. Because even though we heard that gunshot last week, but who knows? Because, see, if she wasn't there, she would immediately die of suffocation. She looks so pretty. So how the hell are you going to be able to get her out? Both of them had to fake their deaths. And I'm guessing because they needed to get away from Jen. That's the only thing. That'll give her enough time to dig her back up. Yeah. I mean, well, you have Asahi, but I mean, that doesn't really count.
Oh. Oh! It's complicated. <laughs> America I mean damn they gave her instructions and everything Come on, Sawa, please. See, I told you she wasn't dead. Okay, mm. now yeah, we just need, so just Elena. Oh, snap! We just need to know if Elena, even though I don't think so, but still. So then now the question is, are Sawa and Asi, are they going to meet up with Suki? Damn. I figured he wasn't going to let him live anyway. No, they already think you're dead.
You can't keep running though. Oh God. She's gonna get caught. This is good. I know it. I just, oh God. Oh, damn. But see, now it makes you wonder why do they want the medicine or the pills at the same time. Because first we knew what John May wanted it for. But now this organization that John's with, what the hell you want it for? Because like, it, it, it now just seems like he's the ultimate traitor because he's going back and forth between these two.
Oh, damn. <gasps> Holy shit. I still don't know if I should trust him, though. Two days later. No. I see. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. My fucking god. Okay, so technically still we haven't answered the question on Elena. If she also faked her death with her, you know, writer, her ghostwriter and such. Seeing, literally seeing them all together one last time before she woke up being in purgatory and saying that, yeah, Yuki is dead. She, she is, and now she's going by Sawa, but even though I'm still calling her Sawa no matter what. She can possibly have a better life now. We don't know. Now with Jun, I mean, something tells me he's going to find out and know the truth that Sawa is not dead. And that Su he, he already knows Suki ain't dead because he found the other body. But really, my, my money is on Elena now. Elena is the only one who is left who is still considerably dead and it's like okay bitch like you know these two still alive what the fuck you at if you really if she's really truly dead it is fucked up if she's not something's gonna tell me that these three are going to meet up and that they're going to have a plan what that plan is i have no freaking clue but the fact is if it seems like the way I'm, i think it's going is that these two are going to be running for the rest of their lives until they both die. We now officially have. <laughs> this is episode 5. No this is episode 6. <laughs> 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We got 6 more weeks with this show. Before we're done. And I, I hope honest to God. Because as someone who just. Binged Gangsta last night. And that shit was. So underrated. I'm about to say overrated. But. Even in my thing, I said overrated, but I meant underrated because I had to correct myself and I was like, oh shit. That show was so fucking underrated. This show is so fucking underrated too because barely enough, uh, not a lot of people are talking about this, but this is too damn good. Who knows how the fuck this is going to go if these two, also Suki, quote unquote Elena, um, are initially going to have a happy ending. But it feels like at the same time, Jin was still one step ahead of all three of them because at first elena already knew her getaway card because she's pregnant that was her escape suki was getting out because you know quote unquote he was the, she was the traitor and such and now she's taking pills and now she she's seeing things that oh god what the hell i i mean oh god and now this shit went from bad to worse like i just I got nothing about what the fuck could possibly happen next. Like, I, I feel like he's going to possibly do a better search. He might even go back to the graveyard um, to see if her body is still there. And then if it's not, he is literally going to want to find these two and kill them. Hell, he killed the fucking doctor. I mean, like, he he's the type of person who's like, okay... You give me what I what I need, and then after that, I'm just going to kill you. There is no if, ands, buts, whatever. No matter what, you're still going to die after I get the, the information I need from you. And so once he did that and killed the doctor, I was like, oh shit, like, okay, who else is he really going to kill to get whatever he freaking needs? And it seems like out of the four, he seems the biggest traitor because he's also talking to another organization, which, um... Who knows what the hell they're going to be doing with the, the the blue medicine that they essentially want that Suki currently has as of right now. So Suki is now fighting for her life and trying to get away. But who knows what the hell is going to happen next. I just, I want this show to end on a happy note. After binging Gangsta last night and seeing that horrible cliffhanger of an ending, 
I don't want that for this show. Both shows are underrated as fuck. Don't get me wrong. Like, really dead ass. But I'm just, I'm praying that this show gets wrapped up nicely. It's an original anime. So, of course, like, even if it does well, who knows if Bushimo and the other company that has done this would want to do a second season. I don't think it might get a second season, even though we're only six episodes into this show. But really, anything as of right now from episode 7 to the finale episode could happen you know just gotta freaking wait and see but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Jenna and the Princess of Snow and Blood if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 7 bye guys